Experiment to determine A, the total suspended solids in ppm of a sample of water by filtration. B, the total dissolved solids in ppm of a sample of water by evaporation. In part C, the pH of a sample of water will be measured. In part A of this experiment, we will measure the amount of suspended solids in a litre of water. This is done by filtering a litre of water through a weighed filter paper. From the increase in the weight of the filter paper, we can calculate the total amount of suspended solids in ppm. Part A, to measure the total suspended solids. A volumetric flask has been filled to the mark with the sample of water. To save time, a 500 centimeters cubed volumetric flask is used in preference to a one liter flask. The mass of a filter paper is found using the laboratory balance. A known quantity of water is filtered through the filter paper using a Buckner flask and funnel. The filtered water will be retained as this will be required for part B of the experiment.
Dry the filter paper by allowing it to air dry. Find the new mass of the filter paper. By subtraction, find the mass of suspended solids in that particular volume of water. Express your results in milligrams per litre, that is, ppm parts per million. Using the data that you have collected, calculate the total suspended solids in the sample of water. The method of calculation is shown in your textbook. Remember that this result must be expressed in parts per million. For your convenience, a blank table is supplied in the Folins Laboratory Notebook. Part B. To measure the total dissolved solids in ppm of a sample of water by evaporation. In Part B of the experiment, we will measure the amount of dissolved solids by taking a known quantity of filtered water from the first part of the experiment and boiling off all of the water. From the weight of the residue obtained, we can calculate the total amount of dissolved solids in ppm. The mass of a clean dry beaker was found. Using a graduated cylinder, a known quantity, for example 200 cm cubed, of the filtered water from the previous experiment was placed in the beaker. Place the beaker on a hot plate and evaporate the water to dryness. Note that the dissolved solids remain in the beaker. Allow the beaker to cool and find the new mass. By subtraction, find the mass of the dissolved solids in that particular volume of water. Using the data that you have collected, calculate the dissolved solids in ppm. For your convenience, a blank table is supplied in the Folins Laboratory Notebook. The method of calculating this is shown in the textbook. Part C. To measure the pH of a sample of tap water. In Part C of the experiment, we will measure the pH of the tap water supplied in our locality. The most accurate method of measuring the pH of tap water is to use a pH sensor attached to a data logger. Simply place the pH sensor in a sample of the tap water and read off the pH. This concludes the experiment.